we getting comfy for this video. Hey girls, hey, it's time for bachelor season. Mm, week one girls, get your glass of rosé and Starbucks apparently. Mm. I hate that noise and I just realized I'm gonna have to edit this video. Ew. Hey guys, what's up? Um, I've been wanting to do this on my channel for the entirety of this channel's existence. Um, I'm not actually a fan of The Bachelor. Hi, nice to meet you. Um, but I kind of watch it. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's like I like watching it because I start talking shit about it to myself. It's not like I have friends and talk about it. I really don't have any friends that watch The Bachelor, but I just like start watching it. The last two seasons I watched with the intention of watching it for the purpose of doing a series that I was going to post a video about it every week on my channel. And as you can see, no videos ever went out. So this is the first week that I watched the episode and I'm actually putting out a video that same week. Ugh, mind blown. So this was the first episode of the season. Colton is our bachelor, which um, we are underwhelmed by. I think everyone's underwhelmed by and I think ABC is making a big deal about his virginity. So shocked. Oh, wow. I mean, last season, like with Becca's season when he was there and he's like, I'm a virgin. Everyone was like, big deal, so shocked, like, wow, he's a virgin, oh my god. And like, honestly, who cares? Honestly, who cares? I, I, I don't, I don't care. I, I don't understand who, I, like, I don't get it. I really don't get it. Um, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, but they want to capitalize on it, which is like, you know, you do you. So, um, my first complaint with this season is, um, 45 minutes ABC and that's how long it's going to take for the first limo to show up? Really? That's how long it's going to take? <sighs> I also got some arroz con maíz, so rice with corn, arroz marillo, but, um, and a banana because that's how you do it in a Caribbean, yo. You just eat bananas with your rice. Mmm. Sabroso. Speaking of sabroso, let's talk about our first impressions. I wrote everybody's name down in my book here. Um, I'm not gonna go in order. Because I wanna talk about I'm a single you out girl. Because she's sticking around. Nicole. Nicole, who is also 25, who's from Miami, Florida, who came out trying to speak Spanish because she thinks she's a cubanita who can come out speaking Sp Oye, si no puede hablar español, no debe salir hablando, okay? Like, if you literally can't speak Spanish, don't come in out speaking Spanish. And then don't get pissed off, like, I, I thought that... I thought that like speaking Spanish I was gonna do like a real good job standing out and then like 45 different people come out speaking like fluent perfectly and you're struggling to put a sentence together. Nicole girl, get your, get your, where's your personality? You lost personality because you thought your personality was in a, like a freaking language that you can barely speak. Like straight up Miami girl to a T. That's why I don't visit my cousin. <laughs> I feel like that Jessie Smiles um, vibe where she was like, mmm, arroz con frijoles. <laughs> At least people getting Vine famous for being stereotypical. Mm-mm. Mm, arroz con frijoles, que rico, Cuba libre. Okay, some more first impressions. Okay, Demi. So first girl out of the limo was Demi from Texas. Um, she's the one who came out straight up being like, I haven't dated a virgin since I was 12. Bitch, what? Bitch, what? What the? You. Since you were 12. And then we got Taisha. Taisha came out. She's cute and all. Uh, she's 28. She's from California. She, uh, she ain't got no personality. I just felt like she was bland. Like something about her was just off, you know. Um, then we got Heather. She's 22. She's from California. Um, so Heather. So much of these girls in this thing look like Colton. Like they look like all. All of them look like Colton. Heather's, Heather has never been kissed. I mean, she's 22. She's a baby. But like, I don't know. I had my first kiss at like. I was, I was, I was, you know, 
I was putting, I was, I was putting in work. Okay, I was putting in some work. Okay, hmm, hmm, hmm. and then it was Nicole. Which okay, bitch, go off. Okay, so then Kaylin, 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 Kaylin. So then Kaylin, Kaylin, Kaylin. I feel like I'm saying the same thing, but it sounds different to me. The girl from North Carolina comes out with her freaking sash. She coming all out. She's doing her thing. Annoying as hell. Comes out. And for some reason, again, they all look like Colton. But then somehow they all look like Crystal from like... And Crystal from like whatever um, last Bachelor season. Um, who also... Did anybody like see Crystal's voice was different when she was there? Because like now she's cool. I don't watch Bachelor in Paradise. I won't go that far. Like I'm not that intense. Like I really... Like, I think you, if you really like The Bachelor, if you watch The Bachelor in Paradise or uh, the other, like, Bachelor games and all that stuff, I think that's what it's called. People think, like, oh, you, she knows the name of it. She really likes the... <laughs> no, like, I really don't know, okay? I promise you, I'm not I'm not one of those people, okay? Um, and then Sydney comes out. I think she's cool. I, I think Sydney's cool. I think she comes out. She's 27. She's from, like, New York or something. I think she's cool. I think she's cool. Uh, I think she's a little awkward. They had, like, an awkward thing, and I was like, oh, I'm kind of into this. Like, I think awkward people, she should stick around. Um, she does stick around, so, so I think... I like Sydney. I like Sydney. I don't think she's gonna win, but I like Sydney. I like Sydney. Um, Elise. Elise is, I think, the oldest person that's on here. Um, I don't like her. Not because she's old. Because I think she's boring. Moving on. So Tasia Wan came out. Um, I thought she was fine as hell. Uh, she didn't get a rose. She had to go home first day. I thought she was, again, she was fine as hell. She made a pun with her name. She's like, I hope I'm Jawan. Or something like that. And I was like, you don't want my heart to one. So, um, but I think she went home. But yeah, I thought she was fine as hell. But um, he didn't. So it is what it is. Cassie, so Cassie's next. Cassie's 23. She's from California. Um, Cassie's like the, Cassie was like the first one that like they introduced, yo. So like she was, uh, she's a speech pathologist. I don't know, she's young. She's 23. I guess you can, you graduate college by 23. But like. I don't know, something was off about her. I just don't trust Cassie, but they gave her a lot of screen time. So I don't know. So I think Cassie's gonna be somebody. Kerpa, um, I don't think she's gonna stick around. She just seems kinda boring, honestly. Uh, she's like, oh, I'm in teeth, I'm mean. No, she's, she's not gonna stick around. Sorry. Sorry, Kerpa. Caitlyn, Caitlyn was the girl who came out, LMO. Um, she had the like a balloon and she's like, I pop your cherry. And he's like, I thought it was an apple. Honestly, same. That was lame as hell. Um, <laughs> I was lame. That was so lame. Like all these girls trying to make jokes. I guess that's like my favorite thing about watching the first episode is like watching like all these just not funny men and women trying to make jokes. And like, People who love The Bachelor are gonna watch this video probably and like roast me in the comments like, um, that's exactly what you're trying to do in this video is be funny and relatable and try to make jokes too and you're not funny and you're fat and like, I agree. I'm not funny and I'm fat. Um, so like, at least we agree on something. Okay. So, um, Courtney came out next. She's uh, from Georgia. She gave him a peach. Call me by your name if you know what I mean. <laughs> you don't know what I mean? Cool. Moving on. The next one is Katie. Katie is the next person that came out. Uh, Katie is the one who's like, don't look at the card. Oh, look, I clicked the card. It was your V card. Lame. Lame, lame. Lame, 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 lame. Like, I would like to do a dating show where it's just all the limo. Like, I don't get to talk to you afterwards. Like, your first impression is just your first impression. Like, it's just the limo. It's all high stakes. I have to propose to you based on how you come out the limo. Like, I'm proposing to the sloth. We'll get to the sloth. We'll get to the sloth. The sloth is freaking ne next on my list. Alex D from Boston. First off, Boston, you my people. You my people in Boston. Other than H Town that I rep to the day that I die, Boston's my second home, okay? But the sloth. I thought the sloth was hilarious. And I didn't see where her joke was coming from. I just thought coming dressed as a sloth was funny as hell. Period. 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 I thought that coming dressed as a sloth was the funniest joke. Until I saw that she was like, I heard you like to take things slow. I thought that that was lame. I thought that was lame. She kept that joke going on way too 
long, way too long. And it's like a, like a per per perfect, perfect, perfect point of somebody who's not funny trying to be funny for like a long period of time. Like, it was done. Like, it's funny. Oh, I heard you like to take things slow. Take the mask off. Oh, I'm hot as hell. Take off my suit, bitch. Like, you know what I mean? And then it was also funny when she maintained character the whole party and then she took it off. That was cool. But, like, the whole, oh, you know, it's too me. That was, it was just too much, Alex. It was too much, to be honest. It was, it was too much. Um, It was too much. To let you know, I'm just, I'm being honest. But I thought that the sloth thing was cool. It was cool. It was cool. Until it wasn't, you know? You know? You know. Onyeka, I could not learn your full whole name because your dress was so beautiful and shiny that I could not, like, pay attention to anything you were saying. So, um, sorry. Like, honestly, it was just, I don't know, distracted by shiny things, I guess. Um, Erica, Erica McNutt, that was clever. That was very, very clever. I like McNutt. You missed a really good joke there. That's where I would have taken the I'm gonna make you McNutt, um, joke, but you missed that one. Kind of came in aggressive when you were like, why haven't you fucked yet? But I mean, whatever. I guess those weren't your exact words. So next up was Teddy. He came out the limo. Colton fell in love. And I said, back off, bitch, because this is my boy, my man's, my son, my moon, my world. Mm -hmm. My Teddy. Okay, is that the attention you craved? No, you're putting your hand down my shirt? Men, am I right? Well, Colton doesn't get it. Sorry, now I made a virgin joke. Damn. So next up is Hannah B. She's Miss Alabama or something, but she's not crazy. Like the other lady, um, she didn't come with a sash and come up like, I, I won something and did something with my life. Hi. I also want to say that the second that Hannah came into the house and the other Miss whatever saw her in the house and it was just like utter hatred on her face, I was living for it. I'm not gonna lie. Like it was pure drama and like, I mean, girls should be nice to each other, but I was living living for it. Okay, so next up is Tracy. I think I called the other ginger girl the oldest person, but I think this girl is also the same age as the other girl, but she's also 31. She came up in a cop car and I was like, yeah, hell yeah, we're gonna have like a woman cop. Let's get this. Let's get this. And then she's like, no, I work in fashion. I'm the fashion police. And I was like, this is lame as hell. Like, I was like, I need her to like handcuff him, throw him on the hood on the car, like be his ass. No, like she's like, I'm the fashion police. What? That's not what I wanted. That's not what I was looking for. That's not what I'm looking for on my Bachelor Mondays, okay? Like, throw his ass on the hood of the car. Put his ass on the asphalt. Ass to ass. Ass to asphalt. That's what I want. Next up is Angelique from New Jersey. I didn't even make notes about her. I just thought she wasn't going to stick around, so that's what she looks like. Um, after that was Devin. She's not sticking around, so who cares? Um... After that was Revion, 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 go fan of your water. And then there was a girl, Nina, another one. There was a bunch of girls who just came out speaking all in different languages that just pissed off my Cuban girl. Okay, and then after that came out this girl, Alex B. She's from Van City, Vancouver, Canada. Um, she came out with the signs doing like a love actually type thing. I don't know if she was doing that on purpose, if she even knows what that is. Um, she's 29, so she sh probably should know love actually. I think we all around our age know what that is, but um, Colton probably doesn't know what that is, so it wasn't even like, huh, love actually. Like they didn't acknowledge that's what it was. Um, but I don't think she's gonna stick around very long, honestly. Getting close to the end, but we're now at my favorite contestant. Ever. I don't think she's gonna stick around too too long because they had her on the first episode like talking to everybody But Brie, she's 24. She's from California. She's not Australian I'm mad they didn't give her more screen time Honestly, it's like talking and like her have Colton discovering that she's not Australian But she came out with a motherfucking like it was a pretty good Australian accent like I love listening to accents and like hearing people do accents because I pick up accents so easily. Like I, I'm around a lot of different accents all the time because like a lot of my friends are from like all around the world. That's hilarious. Um, and so like I'll be talking to like people and stuff like that and all of a sudden I start picking up like different accents and stuff like that. Like my code switching brain just like 
messes up sometimes and like I just start doing it and it's just like this that was actually like a really good accent and she starts doing that I was like oh I like how she didn't lie she's just like oh the accent that's Australian and I was like that is clever as hell so I was like that was a really good audition she just had she killed that audition like that was a national audition and she killed it so Brie you a real one and she also still looks like Crystal from the other Bachelor season so Okay, next up was Laura, another person from Texas, but from Dallas, so we're gonna pass her. Okay, so next one is Hannah G. She actually um, got the first impression rose, and my first impression of her, literally, that I wrote down in my book was nope. Which I shouldn't be surprised because Colton as The Bachelor is kind of like, nope. Um, so I guess maybe like, Mm, no personality meets no personality so maybe yeah maybe it works I just didn't see a spark I didn't see anything about her I didn't see anything so I you know maybe it works because I don't know I, I didn't see anything about I think Garrett was the guy from last from Becca season who won I didn't see anything special about him um but you know maybe it works um after Hannah was um Annie I think Annie's really, really sweet. She seemed really cute. I think she's gonna be bullied. I think she's gonna be so bullied. She just has like a bullied thing about her. Like she's just gonna get bullied. Um, and I feel really bad. I wanna be her friend. I'm here to counsel you. If you need counsel or you need a friend, DM me. DMs are open. Um, I'm here for you, Annie. Let's be friends. Let's be homies. Um, Jane was the girl after that. I'm so happy they didn't keep her around because to be honest, when she came out, the note I wrote about her was that she was going to watch everyone while they were sleeping. Like, she doesn't sleep. She sleeps standing up with her eyes open or she was going to watch, like, over you. Like, while you're sleeping, she's just going to be like, How are you sleeping? Is it good? Like, she was going to be one of those. You know what I mean? And then the last two people to come out of limos are Catherine and Erin. So Erin came, she was the very last one. She came up Cinderella style. She actually did not get a rose to end the night, but she came in a beautiful carriage. Um, it just wasn't a match for Colton. I was actually really shocked by that decision, but it just, I guess, didn't work out. Um, and then Catherine is our villain of the season. She is the crystal of the season. I wrote this down from the second she popped up. I wrote down, looks like crystal. Um, she gave her dog to Colton, which is really, to me, messed up. Um, to give my child to somebody I've never met before just seems really messed up. I don't know. It just seems really weird to me. Be like, here's my child. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I just... I don't know, I can't relate to that. I think it's weird. And then all the stunts she pulled that night, I was just like, okay, yeah, she's the villain. Like, you could just tell from like the second she walked in, she's the villain, the kind of dress she's wearing. I was like, she's set up to be the villain. She'll be around here for at least a couple weeks, you know, at least good, like what, seven weeks that they usually keep the villain, seven to nine weeks. I don't know how many weeks this is, but she'll be around for a while. So we'll get well acquainted with Catherine the DJ <laughs> and the time that she's here. Um, but she was left for last for the drama of it to see, are we going to keep Catherine? Is she going to be here? Um, so the answer was yes. So I am kind of excited to see where this season goes. Um, just because I think generally everything's a little bit bland. I'm going to make my predictions. I think the final two are going to be Cassie. She was just my gut feeling. I really like Cassie. I think she's really good. This, like, I saw them talking and it just made me feel like Cassie was a good choice for Colton. And then Hannah G, even though I put that Hannah G was a nope on there, just because I'm usually wrong on my predictions. I, and he, she got the first in impression rose and since he liked her a lot, I said, let me go ahead and just put Hannah G down as my prediction for who is going to be the final two on this season of The Bachelor. Um, so I'm going to be posting these videos every week. I'm going to try and get them up the Tuesday after The Bachelor airs. Um, so we'll be filming them every Monday night. If you guys watch these videos and you like them, give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel because they'll again be coming out every week. Um, you can tweet me at HTXAJ. Uh, find me on Instagram at HTXAJ as well. You can leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or anything you want me to talk about during these videos. I'm mainly going to be talking about the episodes or any of those things. Any 
Bachelor drama you guys want me to talk about, any past Bachelor drama you want me to talk about, or any things that like I don't know about because like I'm relatively new to the Bachelor universe even though I probably used to watch this in high school, I stopped in college and all those kinds of things. We can talk about those things. Bachelor Nation, I am here for you. Let's talk about it. Um, but I'm like really interested in the show and like let's, let's do it. Let's have fun with this. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!